Welcome to a new episode of This Is My Offer. I'm Teresa Crabtree, Worldwide Healthcare and Life Sciences Lead at AWS. We are pleased to have as our guest today, Sridhar Taraga, Senior Vice President and Head of the Data and Analytics Practices at Sidious Tech. Sridhar, before we dive into the transformative healthcare landscape with Gen AI Solutions, could you please introduce yourself and provide an overview of Sidious Tech? Absolutely. Good morning, Teresa. Great meeting you again. Uh, my name is Sridhar Turaga. I'm a Senior Vice President, President and Head of our Data Analytics Practices at Sidious Tech. We are a healthcare-focused technology and innovation services company. And we're very proud of our nine-year partnership with AWS. And that's now got turbocharged with Gen AI. Great being on this call today. Thank you, Sridhar. How does Gen AI transform the healthcare industry from your perspective, and how does it fit into your strategic vision? Absolutely. Um, a customer said, Gen AI is spiritually born for healthcare, and I completely subscribe to the point of view. Uh, when, when we think about uh, what Gen AI is doing to healthcare, I think of it in three uh, different dimensions, and I think they're all playing out at the same time. The first one is, I would say, break the wall of automation that we hit. There are many, many operational processes in healthcare where we hit a wall in automation, uh, including our attempts with AI, largely because of the nature of data, the quality of data, the fact that healthcare is full of unstructured data and it's so difficult to validate these solutions. I think Gen AI is breaking through that wall. The second dimension, which is harder but more powerful, is hyper-personalization. Healthcare needs uh, more patient and member centricity, and Gen AI is going to uh, make that hyper-personalization possible at scale, but in an affordable manner. Uh, the third dimension, which is a little bit subtle, but it's going to probably be the most powerful, is that the Gen AI uh, stack and the foundation models are almost going to become a data analytics platform on which other AI models will get built. And when that starts to happen, I think it will explore new possibilities because of all the ability to apply multimodal data, images, documents, uh, and all the faxes that we still hate uh, and, and open up new possibilities. That's kind of how we see it. This is exciting. Now, let's unpack Sidious Tech's Gen AI payer prior auth solution. Can you tell us more about what customer problem you set out to solve and what what makes this solution unique sridhar yeah um so everybody knows the critical role that prior auth plays both from a, a patient perspective provider perspective and a payer perspective um, uh, now a lot of the prior auth process from a, a verification and validity perspective benefits perspective has been automated however medical necessity determination uh, is still something that's very hard to automate. Uh, in, in many cases, 30 to 40% needs nurses or clinicians to review and make those decisions. Um, it's very, very hard uh, because uh, we are dealing with patient information that is in unstructured format. Many times it arrives in faxes, attachments, documents, images, but the guidelines are also unstructured. Now, this creates a lot of cost uh, uh, for healthcare organizations and the system in general, but it also slows down, creates tremendous amount of frustration for providers and patients, but more importantly, deteriorates the quality of care. And I think that's why this is a hard problem. And, and we are solving this for our customers with Gen in interesting ways that we've not been able to solve before. Wow, Sridhar. Can you walk us through a scenario where the Gen AI payer prior auth solution is put into action? Absolutely. Let me show you. This is the superpower of Gen AI. So this is a typical uh, nurse queue. I'm a nurse. I have a queue of prior auth requests in front of me. Here's a request for a, a brain MRI without contrast. And uh, I have some prioritization mechanism by which I'm going to pick this. 
Typically, there is the case information on the left, but there's a whole bunch of documents that I'm looking at as well. The typical facts, lots of unstructured information. I will then have to, in some ways, look through one or many of these documents typically. I showed you one example here, but typically there are multiple documents that I have to go through. And I have to form a summary of a patient. And here is the superpower of Gen AI that through prompt engineering and the RAG framework and the large language model, we've summarized the patient's history, the current uh, uh, you know, service request, as well as other relevant information. You can notice the time and effort that we have significantly reduced. Usually at this point, um, uh, you know, the, the reviewer is then asking, what are the guidelines that I am now going to evaluate this against? Now here comes the second part of this solution that we have built. We are now looking through clinical guidelines and, and actually extracting the relevant guidelines against which we're going to evaluate. Here, for example, we are asking if the cyst size has decreased or has, have there been recent episodes of headaches. Now, these are critical guidelines that are evaluated before you make a decision. You'll notice here that we have not just extracted the guidelines, but we've also put the answer in a narrative format with the references back to the source because you, you in some ways are taking that decision and you want to know how this decision has been arrived at. And, and this ability to look at uh, each of these guidelines and make that decision or, or approve is, is the key to this. Now, after all of this that we have done, you may still have questions. And keep in mind, now we are allowing the nurse or the clinical expert to navigate and investigate this data through a chat interface. We are still working off of the same documents, but this is the superpower of Gen AI that we are able to work with unstructured data um, in, in the same level of elegance and rigor as we work with structured data. Now, this solution that is being implemented as an extension to, um, to the prior auth process is automating and reducing 30 to 30% 30 of the manual effort involved from these SMEs. The solution looks great, Sridhar. I've been in healthcare a long time and we've never had this level of automation around prior auth. It's really exciting for me to see what we can do with using Gen AI to really transform healthcare and do something that's really fundamentally different. The, and the solution's ready now. So let's talk about your collaboration with AWS and how specifically you're leveraging AWS Gen AI capabilities that we built and how do you use them to make a solution like this more intelligent and efficient? So firstly, this journey has been fun for us because passionate healthcare leaders and problem solvers like you and your team work together in putting this together for our customers. So that makes it very interesting. From a technology perspective, our customers love Bedrock. They love Bedrock because it allows them the ability to have flexibility and optionality on the LLM layer, which is very, very important because different LLMs get used for different problems. It also allows them to have a search-centric architecture uh, and then use LLM as the interface edge and then bring in other components. We've used Claude, uh, here as a large language model, we've used Titan for embedding. We've also used Extract for the OCR capabilities, uh, but we've also uh, embedded healthcare ontologies into it. You'll notice that this end-to-end -end solution, all the way from document extraction to the interface and the automation has kind of been elegantly put together with a combination of native services. And that's what I think makes it really powerful. Well, we've needed a solution like this <clears throat> for so long. What do you see as the major obstacles or hurdles to widespread adoption? And what are you doing to address any challenges like that? Yeah, the, one nice thing about Genia is everybody's kind of taken to it. So there's a whole bunch of proof of concepts and demos and prototypes happening everywhere, but 80% of them are stuck after the prototype stage. And the number one obstacle that's coming in the way is how do I trust that these solutions work? How do I measure quality and reliability? And how do I trust 
and, and comply with the regulations needed as I go to production and scale it. And we are launching a healthcare's first Gen AI trust offering that allows you to measure quality, but more importantly, monitor it from development to production. And I think that's the number one obstacle. And, and I think that's the place to start. I would love to talk with you more about Sidious Tech's trust solutions next time. The call to action for our viewers is to explore the possibility to transform healthcare with generative AI along with AWS and Sidious Tech. You can click the links below to go directly to the Sidious Tech website. You can also link to the AWS marketplace where the solution is ready for purchase now. Sridhar, thank you so much for joining us today and thank you all for tuning in. Thank you.